So I'm Clyde, I own uh, and I'm the president of Bartolini Pickups and Electronics. We make pickups uh, for guitars and basses. Um, we are really focused on professional level equipment. Uh, we also make um, electronics for guitars and basses, mostly onboard preamps, EQs, buffers for um, piezos and magnetic pickups. We're very focused on pro-level players, right? Or people who want to be pro-level. Not everybody wants to be pro-level, not everybody wants to practice, and that's fine. We're, they, can, they can do their thing. But we're, um, we very much approach uh, pickups and electronics as engineers, right? So I'm a musician from a long time. I studied music in college, uh, but my main focus was electronics engineering. Um, I had a career in high tech, and then moved over into the music industry. But I'm bringing something into this that is not always what's brought in. So often, pickups and electronics are made by people that got into it because they love music. Maybe they're musicians. They're trying to solve a problem, but they're not coming at it from an engineering perspective, right? And that's how I always approach, sadly, everything in my life. Um, in this case, it works out pretty well. Um, and so, you know, I've applied that not only to uh, pickup design, but also to um, our manufacturing processes, um, to really our, our whole structure of how, you know, we run now. We're very efficient. Um, you know, we can make things that are very complicated, but we have, you know, elaborate test, and, uh, test uh, procedures and processes that are semi-automated and uh, really powerful. We have an enormous product line. Like we've got this banner here and this represents maybe a, th no, a quarter, 20% to a quarter of our product line, which is crazy. Yeah, we've got certainly 2,000 products um, because we build for uh, the retail market, so people that are doing upgrades of existing instruments, but we also build for um, instrument builders, right? So, you know, we kind of are what we call our OEM channel, right? and they just put it directly into the instruments that they make. We, we customize things for them. And so that's stuff you're not gonna see on this chart because this is for retail, right? I've got a, like a mental task switch thing that has to happen, right? You know, I used to be in high tech and you know, I'd go to trade shows, um, you know, things, things that were like, you know, the embedded systems conference, for example, you know, that's a good one. Um, but 90% of the people you interact with are other engineers. And so the language that you use is talking to engineers. And that's the, one of the things that I've learned being in this industry is I've got to turn all of that off most of the time. Because otherwise people, I, just, I watch them just glaze over. It's like, oh, whatever, dude. Does this going to sound good? Oh, right. You know, so I, <laughs> but, it's, but so it is, it's uh, funny now when I talk to engineers that I, I don't uh, correctly task switch back into, you know, unless I'm doing things like talking about task switching, I guess. But, but. <laughs>